what's going on guys hope you guys are doing fantastic out there just wanted to do a quick video on the new backup and restore option for the ep133 ko2 we've been waiting a long time for this i'm not really sure if it's been worth the wait and you can see here the date that they came out with it is 3 14 2024 and it gives you the new update features the important one is the support for the new backup restore feature in the ep sample tool so that's really what we're going to be concentrating on today but let's get back to the sample tool so once you've done your update you go into your ep sample tool you will notice at the bottom it says backup and restore once you click on this backup and restore you'll see three options here at the very top here it says beta preview release use at your own risk data loss might occur record your songs before testing i'm not really sure why they put that here maybe this is a beta mode they're testing this either it works or it doesn't right i haven't had any problems with it i don't think you will either i would still back up my projects the way i showed you in a prior video you can either back it up to ableton back it up to FL Studio, whatever your door is, I would still back it up to that. And I'm gonna explain to you why right now. So this backup tool that they added, it's not what we think it should be or what we thought it was going to be. You cannot back up your projects individually. I thought they were gonna make it where you can back up project one, back up project two, back up project three, and restore project one, project two, or project three. They designed it in a way where it's a one shot deal. You have to back up everything at one time. So basically they want you to use up all your memory till you can't put any more projects on there and they want you to back that up. Which means that it's going to back up all your sounds. It's going to back up all your projects in one file. Let's say you have three projects, project A, B, and C. You wanna to go to project B, you have to load project A, B, and C to get back to project B. I mean, it's better than nothing, but that's how this backup and restore works. So your first option is create a local backup, save all samples and projects to a file on your computer. It's a one shot deal. That's why I said save all samples and projects to a file on your computer. Your EP133 is full. You have no more memory. You have no more room to put any more projects on the sampler. You hit backup and you'll see the progress bar backing up its samples and backing up the projects. And you'll see the progress bar going forward. I'm not going to back it up because I already backed up everything. You can abort here. Just that simple. The file is this file here. And it gives you the date 2024 315 backup dot pack. So that would be the pack that was backed up. So when you want to go back to a project within that pack, you go to this file here and you restore everything. Let's go to the next option. Restore. You click on that dot pack file. Like so. That file will come up. You click open and another window will pop up. It'll say restore local backup. And then you have to type overwrite to accept the restore, which is a good safeguard to make sure you don't overwrite anything, but you type in overwrite and you hit OK and it will begin to restore that pack onto the EP 133 KO2. So I said before, I'm going to abort it because that's not what I want to do right now, but I would also label these files. I will label these files whatever, however you want to name them, any way to remind yourself what project is on which pack. So if you have four or five packs, you know what pack to restore to get back to the project that you're looking for. For those of you that may have overwritten your factory samples when you first got your sampler, they have added a restore factory content option so that you can restore all your factory sounds back to the default state. So that's basically the backup and restore options for the EP 133 KO2. You have three options here. You can back up your content, you can restore your content, and you can restore your factory content. 
back onto your EP 133 KO2. It's not everything we wanted it to be, but it is better than nothing. In closing, remember, I would still back up my projects to a door. If you use a door, I would still back up my projects that way. So that way I can access them individually. If you're just getting started, you can always use this option. That way, you know, your projects always in a safe place.